While the advantages of Facebook Live to online businesses can be fairly obvious, there is actually tremendous scope for offline businesses to use Facebook Live to get more business and to get more people through the door. Now, many offline businesses already harness the power of Facebook to build their brand and to encourage customers to visit. Now, with Facebook Live, you can take that to the next level. You can give some personality and you can show what's going on behind the scenes. And this is one exciting type of content that offline businesses can use. And again, it builds trust. It builds trust in the business and in the brand. Let me give you some examples. Now, let's say you own a restaurant. A big concern for a lot of people is kitchen cleanliness. You often read in local newspapers or see on local TV news about how a certain restaurant has been raided by the health department and shut down and you hear horror stories about people who've got food poisoning and all the rest of it. So some people are a bit wary about eating in certain restaurants because they're not sure how clean it is behind the scenes. Well, let's say you could do a behind the scenes tour if you happen to own a restaurant and you can show the standard of hygiene and cleanliness in your restaurant kitchen to reassure customers that your food is safe, uh, that you take hygiene seriously and so on. Or another thing that you could do if you have a restaurant is you could have your chef prepare a new dish. You could show the audience your chef actually putting this dish together, actually cooking it right there in front of their very eyes live so they know that there's nothing being edited around. They know that this is actually happening at the time that they're watching it. And then you could, uh, say, offer a discount to uh, anyone who makes a reservation in you know, X minutes quoting a reference code that they'll be able to have this particular new dish at a discount. And especially if you're running a restaurant and it's a slow night, there's not a lot of people coming in, this might help to get people through the doors. Something else that you could do if you own um, a bricks and mortar store and you're opening a new store or you're introducing a new product line, you could give a sneak peek behind the scenes. You could give a virtual tour of your new store um, before it opens. You should give an idea as to the new product line and that's going to give you a competitive edge and it's going to generate interest and it's going to make more people be inclined to come through the door. You can also use Facebook Live to do Q&As for your business, you know, a question and answer session. And you can use it, as you're saying, to show off products. And you can use it to do special offers. You know, you can give um, a discount code out over Facebook Live and say that anybody who comes in within the next X number of days with that discount code can get 10% off or get something for free. And that's going to encourage people to come in. And if you're launching some kind of event, then this is the perfect opportunity to get people involved because you can get the word out and you can actually, you know, it's like you're talking to them about it one on one. If your business isn't focused on media creation and internet marketing, then you probably don't want to invest all of your time into creating content for the web. However, what you can do is stream events interviews, Q&As and backstage passes and then promote those via Facebook and other social media. And these will both help you to build more brand visibility and trust with your existing fans and it's going to help new people to discover your organization. What you could do is simply set up a camera in the corner of your room and the longer you leave it running the more followers you'll get and there's no reason for you to have to change your routine at all if you have an exciting and bustling business and with Facebook Live at the time that I'm making this video you can actually stream for up to 90 minutes so it's an hour and a half to let people see what it's like behind the scenes in your organization you know and it's it's a bit like a webcam 
but it's streamed via Facebook Live. You'll need to get another smartphone or tablet to do this, and you'll also need a good Wi-Fi connection. And if your premises are open to the public, you know, if you've got um, a shop or a bricks and mortar store, then you'll want to put the camera somewhere where it's not likely to get stolen, uh, such as the times we live in now. And of course, you won't be able to use it for anything else at the same time. So it might be something you could put your old iPhone to good use, and you know, it's a good excuse to get another one.